but for now we have plants to plant we have plants to plant angela we have to show them what i just got on friday you could turn okay. the camera around okay you ready Are this you is why ready? this is why this is why it's worth it <laughs> oh we're so excited i this morning i was getting i was doing my hair and uh steve was supposed to be waiting for me in the car and i heard uh i heard this thing fire up because now now all the time he's out playing playing this is serious business can you see it can you see it is it so cool Like this right here hi everybody it is fourth of july weekend yeah and we got new toys we got a lot of new toys we got a lot of new toys actually well welcome to happy independence day that's for the country we're more focused on your independence day yep. had a great call friday night with the team and we talked about that what are you willing to work for people died for the for the country and for the freedoms that you and i enjoy every single day in the united states of america they died for it. What are you willing to do for your personal freedom and liberty? But right now, this is our setup, Angela. What do you think? <laughs> so we're planting yeah. uh, bushes, shrubs along our back uh, property line. It gives a little privacy in the on the back of our property. Yeah. So we got viburnum. Yeah. And. Uh, so those are loaded in the trailer. Part oh, of. Oh, we're us. loading them in the trailer. We had to. We had to go out and get a. We had a golf cart that pulls it. You've seen the golf cart before, so we. We had to get a trailer hitch mounted on it, which. Uh, and then we had to get the angel gun. Got this little uh, poly uh, trailer. And then we got some good dirt inside that trailer to, for the plants. Then we yeah. had to go get a, the the jeep is loaded. If you loaded can't see that, <laughs> it's loaded with with plants. It has never worked that hard in its life. And we're gonna we're gonna do some planting and work on our property yeah. till Tuesday. Yeah, till Tuesday, till yeah, we, till tomorrow. Angie got me the Farmer John hat. I hope leave it a comment in the comment section if you think this is a good look for a um, insurance professional. Well, I would. It's a good look so you don't get burned. <laughs> yeah. It's the best look for not getting burned. Yeah. What do you think? That, that's a good look. That, that that really works out really well. Of course, we had to get us a new chainsaw, which is down yeah. there. We had to get us a hedge trimmer. Yeah, I think we're, we're pretty well set up. We, yeah. We, we bought ourselves a whole lot of work. Yeah, but here's the deal. We work to have all these things. Yep. Angela, let's talk real quick about our numbers. So yep. in June, we submitted uh, 30, about 33,000, I think it was, 35,000. Yeah, something like that. I think so. And we issue paid right at 25,000. So we missed our mark a little bit. Yeah. We were, we were looking to do 40,000 submitted, 35, 30, 35, 30,000. Yeah. 40,000 submitted, 30,000 issue paid on our own pen. Now, our agency did 10 times that, but we're looking to to continue to leave in the front. First of all, Angel, the biggest commission you're ever going to get in your life is from your own pen. What you write for yourself. <laughs> so here's the deal. It's been great um, doing that the last couple of months. We were, ju we're just a little bit behind, uh, behind this month than we were last month. Last month was a better month. We had, but June you know was what? was a little interesting. It was just a weird. I was gonna month. say June was a month we had to refocus and re remember what we're working for because it was up and down. Yeah. All month long yeah. with just life events. You know when things come up in your lives, you put the business on hold. So we don't put the business on hold. We put the life events on hold until we get done with our business for the day because you know what the life events are always gonna be there. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, a lot of you, we've talked about this before in different, kind of in different context, but um, 
you know, if you have a regular job, a regular job job, I'll give you an example. My, my aunt was a teacher. My dad was a cop. My mom worked in an office building. If, if a life event came up in the middle of the day that wasn't somebody in the hospital, she couldn't just get up and go. She couldn't, they couldn't just get up and leave. My aunt couldn't just say, I have to go and I have to go pick somebody up from school or I have to go and deal with something or deal with a dog or, you know, deal with a crisis and just leave her classroom full of kids. She had to, I mean, my, when my dad was a cop walking a beat, he, he couldn't just, you know, no, you I gotta you go home some, and deal with something. The, the thumbnail that we, we were gonna put on this video is how to keep the dream alive. And part of that is understanding this is a business opportunity, right? It's a leads-based sales opportunity or lead-based business opportunity. And you have to earn the right to get yeah. to, to where we're at right now. Not that we're at anything special. I'm not saying that. It, was, it wasn't meant to be in a private way. Angela and I can do what we need to do three days a week. Right. Working. And we work, when we're talking about personal production, to be able to afford to have the things that we dreamed about having. And how do you keep the dream alive? One of those things is, you know, you go out there and you look for things or look at things that you would like to have. So today, before we before we put the farmer outfits on. We drove out in the country and looked at a new golf course community that's just stunning. Rural, beautiful place to live if you're a golfer. But uh, we're grateful for what we have right now. But my point is go, you know, figure, first of all, define what it is that you want out of life that you're willing to work for. And understand that you're not gonna get that the first week you're in this business. Right. You're not gonna get it the first month, you're not gonna get it in the 90 days. Right, if you went to open a restaurant up, you're not gonna be profitable with a restaurant for two to five years. Two to five years. Some people come into this business and they give it a week, two weeks, or they don't even give it 30 days. And we always tell our agents, look, you gotta be 24 appointments a week, six to eight a day for four days a week. We're not actually work five or six days, four days a week, six to eight appointments, 24 appointments a week for 90 days. Be true 90, and then we can talk. We can teach anybody how to do this business if you're willing to work for it, but working isn't a week. I mean, if, you're, if, if you want to be with your kids, more time with your kids, if you, if you want to stop sucking up to the boss, right, and have having to ask it. that, huh? You have to earn it. You have to earn it. You gotta give it, the point is how much, how, how big is your, the why, right? If, that, if you say you want that, but honestly, I would, I would say, I, don't, I wouldn't believe you if you gave it a week. Yeah, we've been doing this for more years than we can count. I've been yeah. in this industry for 40 years. We've been in the leads based part of the industry for 10. You know, so uh, first of all, we burned all of our bridges. Quitting is not an option, never is an option. Failure is a given. You're gonna fail in any business, any part of the business, right? You get some leads in an area and they don't work out. So you don't go work in that area anymore. You go work in another area and you figure out where the area that you really connect with the people are. So you're going to fail in that process, but you fail forward. You keep, you keep getting them, right? It's counterintuitive. That's why people don't uh, succeed in this business. They can't get around the fact Angela, that sometimes I buy a batch of leads, spend 400 bucks. I don't get any sales and all that's it. I'm done. The business doesn't work. Look, the business does work. It's, we, there's thousands of people in this industry making a tremendous amount of money. So the business works. It's something that you're doing that's not working and that can be fixed, right? But you keep going. But you keep going. You don't, quitting cannot be an option if you're gonna succeed in business because succeeding in business is difficult. Yeah. If it wasn't, everybody would be in business. Right. We wouldn't have any employees to work at the Wendy's or the McDonald's. Or your job. But you said that. You I mean you when you when you when you go to, when you start a new job, day one you don't get a month vacation. No. You will get a month vacation, been there for a while. Right. Because you have to earn it. It's no different than, you know, a three day work week or a four day work week. You know, everybody always hears that, well I only have to work three days and they come in and they work three days and they run two appointments and they say and the, and after two or three weeks they say, Well I can't keep doing this, you know, I'm buying leads, I'm only I haven't written any applications. In fact, somebody was on our weekly, on our daily coaching call the other day and they said the same thing. They said, you know, I've been doing this for a month and I haven't even written an application yet. And when they drilled down, they found out she was only running, she'd only bought a handful of leads. She was only running a handful of appointments for the whole week, you know? Oh, and, and, and the whole conversation started with, I well, I have to, well, they asked, well, what, what's your activity like? Well, I have to take my kids here. I have to go do this. I have to go do that. Okay, some of those things you're gonna to have to give up. 
some of those things you're going to have to sacrifice. Or hire somebody. Or hire do. somebody. You're going to have to say, you know what, uh, uh, Susie Q down the street is going to take you to swim practice, and then I'll pick you up, or whatever. But you're going to have to sacrifice something. You can't. The you numbers can't, are the numbers are the numbers. Yeah. You're not going to beat the numbers. And that's what frustrates They They take all, those, all their bucket of excuses and they're, that they're carrying around, and they think that justifies them to take the proven system that works and divide it all up. Right. Okay, if 24 appointments work for Angela and Steve, I got all these life things going on here. I got my kids, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out this summer break, and blah, 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 blah. So I can't do 24, I can only do six. Well, guess what, folks? Six don't work. You can't, if the, if the recipe for the cake calls for two ways, you can't put one in it and expect to get a good cake. It doesn't work that way. The numbers are the numbers. You can't beat them and they can't beat you. If you do the numbers, this is a simple business that you can learn. But you got to do the what what is proven to be successful, and we know what that is, especially in virtual. We've been, we 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 got hundreds of people that we, we're tracking the numbers on. Look, freedom is not free. People died for freedom. It is earned. It is not given. And the same thing applies to your business. We've earned the right to have this home and live where we do. Well, and that goes back to what we, what you just mentioned. I'm we not saying that we, we earn the right as human beings. I'm not saying that. We earn the right to have these things because we worked hard to be able to afford them, right? I mean, we're, we're blessed and grateful for what we have. We were, we were lucky this last week, especially because how weird month uh, June was. We were lucky that we really, for the most part, took Friday off. That's our goal I mean, every week, but we don't right, do it. We, we don't, don't earn we don't, it every week. <laughs> that's a good point. We don't, earn, we don't reward ourselves. Look, our schedule is this. We want to work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday virtually. We want to take Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. That is our ideal week. Well, in June, we did it once or twice. Yeah, maybe. Once yeah. or twice. And the other weeks, we were flat out working. We work. We don't work on Sundays ever, but we do work on Saturdays a lot because we got to leave it all on the playing field to make sure that we hit our goal. And if it can't get done on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're working Friday and Saturday. And if we didn't get it done on Friday and Saturday, at least we know we gave it all we had. We don't reward ourselves unless we accomplish the goal. This week, we uh, ended up with somewhere between, uh, I think around, right around $12,000 for the week, which is a good week. We, you know, we want to average 10,000 and we did yeah. 12. And just talk about that for a second, because I think, you know, I, I talked to him. How sweet it is. We did it last week, that, that same thing happened, and this week, to be able to hit a goal like that, actually go by, past your goal, how much sweeter is the holiday? Right, like, I mean, the great thing about it was when we ended Thursday, which was also the end of the month, you know, we had looked at each other and said, you know, if we didn't, because you have to wait, you know, a day for all the numbers to come in, that kind of thing, and uh, we sit, looked at each other on Thursday night and said, if we didn't hit the, if we didn't hit the number, we didn't have anything, there was there was nothing that we didn't do. We ran every appointment we possibly could. We we wrote every app that we possibly could. So there was nothing that we And we made it by 29 we bucks. And we made it. <laughs> well, hey, it doesn't but, matter. We made it, that's um, the point. You know, I, on Friday, Steve had uh, an arrangement to go and do and had some plans. And um, I worked on stuff here. And I just, it was great because I didn't go, I didn't go into my office. I didn't, I didn't need to go into my office. I didn't feel the, um, you know, that guilt where you leave a project undone and then you spend all weekend dreading Monday because you know that when Monday or in this case, Tuesday rolls around, you know, what's facing you at work. You know, that turning that you get in your stomach, you know, the night before, like on Sunday night, you know, knowing that you have to go back to work and the, the crap that's waiting for you. I didn't, I didn't feel that on Friday. I haven't felt that all weekend. I haven't gone into my office. I haven't, we haven't had the need to go, you know, sometimes you feel that nervous anxiety, like you have to go putter at your desk or look at the leads or look at what's, you know, look no, at, look, we walked we away. Did, we were done. We, we did walked it. away. We, gave we ain't going to go back in the office until Tuesday morning. Yeah. And when we go back in on Tuesday morning, it is not with a sense of, uh, God, you know, I have all this mess or stuff that I didn't do. We, we no, did it. But we may have to work Friday this week because we're not working Monday. Right. That's the other thing. For those of you who are, who are our agents or who are working that similar schedule, I was thinking a lot about that because I think that a lot of people are going to roll into Tuesday and think, well, I don't, I don't have to work on Friday. We don't, we, don't, we don't work on Friday. 
Yeah, yeah, we do. Those who haven't earned Fridays shall work on Fridays. That's my Sunday sermon. Those who have not earned Friday off shall work on Friday. Yeah. The point is, is that it, it, you know, this is the best business opportunity on the planet bar none. We, we, uh, uh, we are in a perfect storm right now in terms of timing with the COVID and all that stuff going on uh, with life insurance. People are interested in life insurance. Doesn't mean they're all gonna buy, but they are interested. It's up to us as salespeople, if you wanna call us that, educators, whatever it is, to show them you know, uh, the value of owning it because it's a non-tangible product, right? They're never gonna see the results of it themselves, not necessarily, unless they use the living benefits. If they were to die, it goes to the family. That's, that's who's gonna see the benefit of it. So, but it is a, you know, look, we work, we've earned it, wasn't easy. No success is easy. You can open up a McDonald's franchise or a Subway or a Chick-fil-A or whatever it is, and it's gonna be hard work for several years until you get the system down and get it in place, get, the, get it staffed, get the right kind of staff, get people, all that stuff, folks. It's not, look, if you want easy, I, I don't know what it is. Win the lottery, that might be easy. Because uh, jobs aren't easy. You gotta choose your hard. I mean, for me, I would rather sleep in my car. They could take my car back, and I would sleep on the on a on a park bench, than work a nine to five. And I've been that way my entire life. I, I only time I worked nine to five was to get a little seed money to start my business. I had no desire to ever ask another man or woman if I could have a take a break, take a smoke break. I didn't smoke, but take a smoke break, or you know, or leave earlier. Or come in late, or, or I, I no desire. That was not a life I was willing to live. That's hard. So you got to choose your hard. It's either a hard nine to five where you get nothing in return, but a, a, but a, a, a maybe a retirement decreasing income, and hoping that you don't outlive your 401k because then you're going to die in a trailer broke, right? Or you come here and you work really hard, and bust your tail for a couple of years. And the, there are massive results, uh, rewards, massive. You can build your own agency, you get residual income on some products, you know, you get, to, you get good at the process, so you can do what Angela and I do, and that is work, we work three days a week in production, maybe, maybe four sometimes, and we make multiple six figures. Doctor money, doctor money. Now, your but results may, just, hang you, on, I gotta give the FTC disclaimer. Your results may be different. If you sit on your butt and do nothing, you're not, you're you not gonna have those results. You're not gonna have those results. You don't find a good coach and mentor, your results may be different. You choose the wrong IMO, your results may be different. If you don't do the work, your, your results, results may will be, be different. different. You don't buy leads, your results will be different. If you don't learn how to put life events on hold and you always put them first, your results may be different. And if you forget that this is an opportunity, it's a chance it's a chance to do it yourself. It's it's a chance to do it yourself. Yeah. If you if you're a quitter, your results will be different. May will be different. They will be. Right. Cuz I feel like I feel this way. If there's a leaderboard of several hundred people on it that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, some of over over seven figures. They put their clothes on similarly the way I put my clothes on and no one's better than I am. I, everybody's equal. You, me, everybody's equal. If they can do it, I can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. So if you quit, then you're a quitter. Failing is how we learn. Yeah. When we teach our children how to walk, they fall down. We don't slap them upside the head and say, hey, never walk again because you weren't born to win. You weren't born to walk. You, you, that, that ain't for you, that's, that's BS. You can succeed, but you're going to have to follow the system. You cannot quit, you have to be willing to fail, and you gotta do, the, follow the, the pathway to success exactly the way it has been written and the ones that are current look find someone that's successful and do what the successful do that's it what do you think this is a great time to be excited about this industry and to give it all you got it, it will never be a better time in the life insurance industry than it is right now for those that are willing to follow the system be coachable, have a great work ethic, right? And, and just show up, do the work. But for now, we have plants to plant.
just make the commitment and do it. Stay, stay committed. Stay focused. Get in. Follow your coach. Follow your mentor. Give it everything you got. Be willing to pay the price to win. Make sure you understand the reason why you're doing this business. And it can't be about money. It's going to be about what the money does for you. And just stick with it until you win. Until you start seeing success. Get in. Be in to win. I'm in it to win it. How about you? We'll see you in the next video. Hey, do me a favor. Leave some comments so we know that you're enjoying this content and we're not just wasting batteries and digital media. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day for the United States of America. I want to celebrate your independence, freedom, and liberty this time next year. See ya.